Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of human emotions and unique personalities. Today we're uncovering something truly intriguing, seven unusual reactions when Sigma empaths get mad. Now, we all get mad from time to time, right? But have you ever noticed how some people handle their anger in the most unexpected ways? That's especially true for Sigma empaths. But who are these Sigma empaths, you ask? Sigma empaths are a rare breed. Unlike the typical alpha or beta personalities, Sigmas are the lone wolves of society. They value their independence and they march to the beat of their own drum. Combine that with the heightened sensitivity and deep emotional understanding of an empath. And you've got someone who's incredibly in tune with their own emotions and those of others. When Sigma empaths get mad, their reactions are far from ordinary. They don't just shout or storm out of the room. Oh no, they have their own unique ways of processing and expressing anger. Today I'm going to share with you seven unusual reactions you might see when a Sigma empath gets mad. Trust me, some of these will surprise you. Ready to dive in? Let's get started with number one. Number one. The silent treatment. All right, let's kick things off with our first unusual reaction, the silent treatment. When most people get mad, they might yell or argue, but Sigma empaths often choose a different path. They go silent. This isn't just about avoiding a fight, it's a deeply considered response. Sigma empaths use silence as a tool for reflection. They need time to process their emotions and think about what happened. For them, it's about finding clarity and understanding their own feelings before reacting. It's not about shutting people out, it's about creating space to think and breathe. Let me tell you a story. I have a friend named Emma, a true Sigma empath. One day she had a disagreement with a close colleague at work. Instead of snapping back or getting defensive, she chose to stay silent. For a few days Emma didn't say much. And her colleague thought she was just giving him the cold shoulder. But in reality, Emma was processing the situation. She was reflecting on her emotions and trying to understand where both she and her colleague were coming from. After taking this time to think, Emma finally spoke up. She approached her colleague and calmly explained her perspective. Because she had taken the time to process her feelings, she could communicate clearly and effectively. This not only resolved their conflict, but also strengthened their working relationship. Her silent treatment wasn't about avoiding the issue, it was about approaching it in a thoughtful and measured way. So, if you ever encounter a Sigma empath who suddenly goes quiet, remember this, they're not ignoring you. They're simply taking the time to reflect and understand their emotions. It's their way of ensuring that when they do speak, their words carry the weight of careful thought and genuine understanding. Number two, withdrawal from social situations. Next up, let's talk about another common reaction withdrawal from social situations. When Sigma empaths get angry, they often feel overwhelmed by the emotions swirling around them. Instead of lashing out or confronting the issue head-on, they prefer to retreat into solitude. This withdrawal isn't about running away from problems. For Sigma empaths, it's about finding a calm space where they can process their emotions without external distractions. They need this solitude to recharge and to gain clarity on what they're feeling and why. I remember my cousin Alex, who's a classic Sigma empath. Whenever he got into a heated argument with his siblings, he would disappear for hours. At first, his family thought he was avoiding them. But Alex explained that he needed that time alone to sort through his feelings and think things over. It wasn't until he had spent time in solitude, maybe going for a run or listening to music, that he felt ready to come back and talk things out. So, what can you do if a Sigma empath in your life withdraws when they're angry? First, give them space. Understand that their need for solitude isn't a rejection of you, but a necessary step for their emotional health. Second, avoid pushing them to talk before they're ready. Let them know you're there for them, but respect their need for time alone. Lastly, when they do return, be open and ready to listen. They've likely spent that time figuring out the best way to communicate their feelings. Respecting their space shows that you value their process and understand their need for solitude. It can strengthen your relationship and make your Sigma empath feel truly supported. 
Remember, their withdrawal isn't about creating distance, it's about coming back stronger and more centered. Number three, deep reflection and analysis. Now, let's delve into another intriguing reaction, deep reflection and analysis. When Sigma empaths find themselves angry, they don't just brush it off or react impulsively. No, they take the time to dissect the situation piece by piece. This tendency stems from their deep emotional intelligence. Sigma empaths are keenly aware of their own feelings and the underlying reasons behind them. So when anger surfaces, they view it as an opportunity to understand themselves better and uncover the root cause of their emotions. Imagine a scenario where Sara, a Sigma empath, encounters a disagreement with a close friend. Instead of reacting immediately, she takes a step back. Sara asks herself why she feels angry and what triggered this emotion. Was it something her friend said? Or perhaps an unmet expectation? By asking these questions, Sara begins to unravel the layers of her anger. Through this introspection, Sigma empaths like Sara not only understand their own emotions better, but also gain insights into how to address the issue constructively. They might realize that their anger stems from a deeper need for respect or understanding. Armed with this self-awareness, they can approach the situation with clarity and find solutions that go beyond just a quick fix. So, if you have a Sigma empath in your life who takes time to analyze their anger, understand that this introspection isn't about dwelling on negativity. It's a powerful tool for growth and emotional maturity. By diving deep into their feelings, they're not only finding peace within themselves, but also paving the way for healthier relationships and meaningful resolutions. Number four, expressing through creative outlets. Moving on to another fascinating reaction expressing through creative outlets. When Sigma empaths experience anger, they often turn to creative activities like writing art or music as a way to channel and process their emotions. For Sigma empaths, creativity isn't just a hobby, it's a therapeutic release. Engaging in these artistic pursuits allows them to channel their intense emotions into something constructive and meaningful. It becomes a way to transform negative energy into a positive form of self-expression. Consider someone like Maya, a Sigma empath and talented writer. When Maya finds herself grappling with anger, she turns to her journal. Through the act of writing, she pours out her thoughts and feelings onto the page. What starts as a storm of emotions transforms into beautifully crafted words helping Maya make sense of her anger and gain a sense of closure. The therapeutic benefits of this approach are profound. Creative expression not only serves as a healthy outlet for emotions, but also allows Sigma empaths to gain perspective and insight into their inner world. It helps them process their feelings in a way that words alone often can't. Many famous creatives throughout history have embodied this fusion of sensitivity and artistic expression. Think of painters like Vincent van Gogh, whose turbulent emotions fueled his iconic artworks, or musicians like Adele, who channels heartache into soul-stirring lyrics. These individuals showcase how creative outlets can not only be a form of catharsis, but also a means of connecting with others on a deeper emotional level. So, if you encounter a Sigma empath who turns to creativity when they're upset, celebrate their ability to transform adversity into art. It's not just about creating something beautiful, it's about finding healing and renewal through self-expression. Number five, nonverbal cues and body language. Let's explore another intriguing aspect, nonverbal cues and body language. When Sigma empaths get mad, they often communicate their emotions through subtle, nonverbal signals rather than outspoken words. These nonverbal cues are crucial because they provide a window into the Sigma empath's inner world. Paying attention to these signals can help us understand their emotions and respond empathetically. Take someone like Jake, a Sigma empath who tends to show his anger through clenched jaws and tense shoulders. When he's upset, his body language speaks volumes even before he says a word. It's not about aggression, but a physical manifestation of his inner turmoil. Understanding these non-verbal signs is crucial for those around Sigma empaths. It allows us to offer support and create a safe space for them to express their feelings. By acknowledging their body language, we demonstrate our attentiveness and willingness to listen. Common non-verbal signs of anger among Sigma empaths include furrowed brows, clenched fists, pacing, or even subtle changes in facial expression. 
These cues may seem small, but they convey a wealth of emotion that shouldn't be overlooked. So, the next time you notice a Sigma empath displaying these non-verbal signals, take a moment to observe and listen. Your awareness and sensitivity can make a significant difference in how they feel understood and supported during moments of anger. Number 6. Avoiding conflict and seeking resolution. Now, let's explore another fascinating aspect of how Sigma empaths handle anger avoiding conflict and seeking resolution. When faced with a heated situation, Sigma empaths often have a unique approach they prefer to steer clear of direct confrontation. This preference isn't about avoiding the issue or sweeping things under the rug. Instead, it reflects their desire to maintain harmony and peace. Sigma empaths prioritize emotional well-being and seek constructive solutions rather than escalating tensions. Consider someone like Sarah, a Sigma empath known for her calm demeanor. When she feels angry, she doesn't rush into arguments or debates. Instead, Sarah takes a step back to cool off and regain perspective. She believes in approaching conflicts with a level head and finding common ground through open dialogue. This approach not only diffuses immediate tensions, but also allows Sigma empaths to address underlying issues more effectively. By seeking resolution through peaceful means, they promote understanding and strengthen relationships. If you have a Sigma empath in your life who prefers to avoid conflict, here's how you can support them first, respect their need for space and time to process their emotions. Give them room to cool down and reflect without pressuring them to engage immediately. Second, when discussing conflicts, approach them calmly and with empathy. Listen actively and validate their feelings, even if you don't fully agree. Lastly, encourage open communication and compromise. Sigma empaths value solutions that benefit everyone involved, so brainstorming together can lead to mutually satisfactory outcomes. By understanding and respecting their approach to conflict, you can build a stronger connection with the Sigma empaths in your life. It's about fostering a supportive environment where everyone feels heard and valued. Number 7. Heightened Empathy and Compassion Lastly, let's uncover the remarkable aspect of Sigma empaths' anger, their heightened empathy and compassion. When Sigma empaths experience anger, it often transforms into a deep sense of understanding and compassion for others. This empathy isn't just a passive feeling, it's a powerful force that drives Sigma empaths to help and support others, even when they're upset themselves. They possess a unique ability to channel their emotions into acts of kindness and empathy. Take someone like James, a Sigma empath who recently faced a frustrating situation at work. Despite feeling angry and disappointed, James noticed a colleague struggling with a personal issue. Instead of dwelling on his own emotions, James reached out with empathy and offered a listening ear. His anger fueled a desire to uplift others, turning a challenging moment into a meaningful connection. This ability to turn anger into acts of kindness isn't uncommon among Sigma empaths. They understand that everyone experiences difficult emotions and their own struggles deepen their empathy for others. If you encounter a Sigma empath who demonstrates this empathy during moments of anger, celebrate their compassionate spirit. They're not just managing their emotions, they're using their understanding to make a positive impact on those around them. Stories abound of Sigma empaths turning their anger into acts of kindness, a friend who brings food to a struggling neighbor, a sibling who offers a shoulder to cry on, or a colleague who steps up to support a team member. These small gestures of empathy ripple outward creating a ripple effect of positivity and understanding. So next time you witness a Sigma empath channeling their anger into compassion, remember the transformative power of empathy. It's through these acts of kindness that they not only navigate their own emotions, but also uplift those around them, creating a more empathetic and connected world. As we wrap up our exploration of seven unusual reactions when Sigma empaths get mad, let's recap the unique insights we've uncovered today. From the silent treatment to creative expression, withdrawal to deep reflection, non-verbal cues to conflict resolution, and heightened empathy, Sigma empaths approach anger in truly admirable and thought-provoking ways. Instead of reacting impulsively, Sigma empaths harness their emotions as a catalyst for personal growth and understanding. 
Their ability to turn anger into empathy and compassion not only enriches their own lives, but also positively impacts those around them. So, whether you identify as a Sigma empath or know someone who does, I encourage you to appreciate their unique approach to emotions. By understanding and supporting Sigma empaths, we foster environments of empathy and mutual respect. If you enjoyed today's video and found value in learning about Sigma empaths and emotional intelligence, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest insights and discussions. And remember, embracing diversity in emotional responses enriches our understanding of ourselves and each other. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the fascinating world of human emotions. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.